Do you think you need to be a designer or a super creative person to be successful with print on demand? If you do, that belief needs to die. With today's AI tools, anybody can create designs that sell even if you don't have a creative bone in your body. My name is Meg Heckman, and after spending thousands of dollars working with designers over the last five years, I have now decided to test every single AI design platform. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down five of the best, giving you the pros, the cons, how they can work for you, so that you can figure out which one fits your workflow the best. So let's get right into tool number one, which is ChatGPT. Most people know about ChatGPT, but this isn't just a chat text box anymore. It can actively create images, meaning that you can go from idea to prompt to finished design in just one place. Perfect if you want speed and hate juggling multiple platforms. So let's go through the pros. The pros is that you can go full ideation plus image creation creation in one workflow. You can refine your concept before you generate. You can save prompts for consistent branding, etc., and multiple variations in just a few seconds. Some of the cons of ChatGPT are text and lettering can sometimes be imperfect, definitely getting better over time, but still can mess up sometimes. You also have to be very specific that your export meets print on demand size and resolution, as well as not all of the images that it produces are like the highest quality. So sometimes you have to throw it into Canva and then upscale, et cetera, to get a really vibrant design, as well as sometimes the background doesn't fully remove as well. And it's not as stylized as some of the niche tools, unless you're very prompt heavy. So let's talk about what ChatGPT does really well, some of which are brainstorming your niche ideas. This is a great place where you can do your research and then immediately bring that image to life based off of the research you just did. You can do quick, clean t-shirts or poster designs and repeating patterns for all over prints. Now, here's exactly how ChatGPT operates. It's 100% prompt driven inside of the chat. So you are going to need to know how to prompt or talk to ChatGPT to get the outputs that you're looking for. Now, ChatGPT is great if you want one tool that does everything. But if you need a tool that's laser focused on getting text inside of your design looking perfect. And that is where tool number two comes in, which is Ideogram. Ideogram is one of the best AI tools for handling text inside of designs, which is a huge deal for print on demand sellers making slogan based products. So let's go through the pros of Ideogram. Some of the best pros is that it handles typography better than most AI tools do. It's clean, sharp output, ready for print on demand. Very rarely do you need to go and put it into a Canva or any other type of editor. It integrates text seamlessly into your illustrations. And another pro is that they have a free tier available, which is really nice when you're trying to test all these products out. Now let's go through some of the cons. Some of the cons, the quality depends heavily on your prompt. It has limited post editing compared to Kittle and Playground AI and fewer style options. But here's what Ideogram does really well. It's really good at bold slogan tees, sticker designs, and posters with integrated text plus art. But enough about that, let's break down how exactly it operates. Now, Ideogram works from prompt to then picking a style to then generating. You can then tweak the prompt until you're happy. So Ideogram is perfect for slogans, but what if you want a tool that's built specifically for print on demand sellers, complete with ready to use product mockups? That's exactly what tool number three offers. Now, tool number three is Mystic POD. So Mystic Print On Demand was made for print on demand. It has built-in product templates that are built off of best-selling information and your designs can be upload ready. You can also design mock-ups within Mystic to use in either your mock-up test or on your store. It's an all-in-one solution specifically for print on demand. Let's go through some of the pros of Mystic POD. The pros is that it's print on demand specific dimensions right out the gate. There's no way that you can design something that is the wrong size for your product in Mystic. You're able to generate product mockups instantly based off of best selling information. And it has a beginner friendly interface, which is really nice when you're somebody who is just getting started. Now, here are some of the cons. It is more template heavy than creative freedom. Now you can still use prompts and generate designs that way, but it's really used to spark your creativity by looking at some of the different templates that are available to you and then simply remixing off of that. 
Now there's limited variety in certain art styles, but this is always expanding as well. So what are some of the pros of Mystic POD? One is that you can bulk generate products. This way you're not waiting one by one like you need to for ChatGPT. Instead, you can create up to eight different designs in one go, which speeds up the process. Now, another thing that Mystic POD does extremely well is with their remix functionality. You can get your output and if there's something that you don't like, Mystic POD is better than any other AI design platform out there by keeping everything the same and only editing what you want to edit. It won't change anything else about the image. So how exactly does Mystic POD operate? You simply pick the product that you are selling. And then from there, Mystic will give you templates based off of that product. Because we all know when you're designing for stickers versus a mug versus t-shirts, all those designs have slight variations to them. So it's very product specific. Now, Mystic POD can work with both prompts and templates, but typically people will start with looking at the templates and then remixing from there. Mystic POD is all about speed and simplicity but maybe you want that high-end custom look, that kind of polish that makes your designs feel super premium. And that is where tool number four comes in, which is Kittle. Think of Kittle as Canva's cooler, maybe design savvy cousin. It's not fully AI first, but it's typography and layouts are next level. So if you're somebody who's trying to figure out what makes a t-shirt design look really nice, Kittle's a great place to start. Now here are some of the pros. It has pro grade typography tools, premium templates that stand out. Specifically, I kind of noticed for any sort of street fashion, it is great for refining AI art and layers based editing for detailed work. It's basically, I would say an AI generated Canva, if that makes sense. Now here are some of the cons. Cons of Kittle is that it's not as fast as other AI tools. Now there's a steeper learning curve for users because you have a lot of freedom when it comes to editing your designs. Now, some people may consider that a pro and some may consider that a con, depending on where you're at in your design skills. So what does Kittle do well? It does vintage t-shirt graphics really well, as well as posters and typography focused designs. It also allows you to add finishing touches to AI generated art. So it's not just all AI based. Again, you are able to edit and manipulate some of the designs yourself, which is kind of nice. You can move the text around. Like if you didn't want it up top, you can move it down below, etc. So how exactly does Kittle operate? You have templates that you can then customize and then download and upload into Printify or any other platform that you are looking for. Now it can import AI art to combine with Kittle typography. So is Kittle prompt or templates? Now Kittle is mostly template based, which some people like, some people may not. Kittle is great for polish, but if you're the kind of creator who wants a complete artistic freedom with AI, down to the brush stroke, then tool number five may blow your mind. But before we get into tool number five, let me talk about something that I've linked in the description below for you. I have put a link to my free school community where you can join to gain access to a 31 hour print on demand course, as well as our complete design checklist. This takes you from design all the way to getting your products uploaded onto Printify, Shopify, etc. It is a checklist that goes down the entire list so that there's no step that you miss. So if you're somebody who's interested in grabbing this free design checklist so that you can keep track of every single design, make sure every single one is named, that it's all been uploaded and that it is organized in a Google Drive, then click the link in the description below and grab that design checklist. Now enough about that. Let's get into tool number five, which is Playground AI. Playground AI is a creative powerhouse. You can have deep control over colors, style, composition, perfect if you want something really unique. Now, some of the pros, Playground AI has a huge variety of art styles, advanced editing and customization tools, as well as fine tune or edit AI art after generation, which is really nice. Now, some of the cons of Playground AI is that it does have a more complex interface. It takes a little bit more time to learn. I would say it's not print on demand specific. You sometimes have to resize images yourself. So what does Playground AI do really well? Well, it has unique wall art and apparel designs as well as style experimentation. You can quickly change the style of different graphics very quickly. Now here's how it operates. You can do a prompt, 
choose your style and settings, and then refine with their editing tools. Now let's discuss if it's prompt versus template. Now it's primarily prompt based with style presets, but they also have templates that are available that you can use right off the bat. So wrapping all this up, all five of these AI tools are insanely powerful and they're all right at your fingertips. Now the secret isn't about finding the perfect tool because more and more of these image generators are going to come out. It's all about finding the one that fits your workflow and then sticking with it. This is kind of similar to the comparison, like do you design on Photoshop or do you design on Canva? Both of them do the exact same thing, but it just depends which one you're most comfortable with. So here's my suggestion. If you are somebody who is just starting out and you're trying to figure out which AI design platform should I use, I'm not sure, I would highly recommend just testing them out. Honestly, most of them have a free trial that you can play around with, have a few credits, see some of the outputs that you're getting, and then from there, start to work on your workflow. And remember, you don't need to be a designer or even someone who's super creative to succeed with print on demand. All it takes is some of these AI design platforms and a little bit of niche research, and you can be creating some of the best selling designs in your niche. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more print on demand specific videos, then please like and subscribe to my channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And if you're interested in grabbing that free design checklist, click the link in the description below, join my free school community, and you'll gain access to it. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next video.